Hey hey hello welcome on my channel Triple Two Tarot this girl to bomb back with another pick a card reading for all of you this is going to be the most uh, demanded and watched reading on my channel who will you marry who will be your future spouse your future partner who will be that person how and when you will meet how your relationship is going to develop this is going to be a general reading so please take what resonates and leave the rest you can book a personal reading everything is given in my description you can reach out to me if you want to uh, do not forget to uh, follow me on Instagram and also here, like, share and follow and also give me your feedback. I will really appreciate it. So this reading is going to be all about your future spouse, future partner, their details about uh, them, that whatever the important or necessary, um, important information that you need to know about them, your relationship, how, when, where are you going to meet, what type of important, significant that you're going to see uh, when you will meet this person or when you, when and how you will know that he or she is the one for you. This reading is for everybody, man, woman, whoever you are, whatever your gender is. Please do not try to fix on it. Just focus on the energies and the relationship dynamic. Um, so you have a four group in front of you. Um, choose intuitively whatever the couple is calling you intuitively the crystal or you can even choose it by your zodiac sign this is a group number one with the carnelian group carnelian heart with the gemini aries and virgo pisces leo libra with the amethyst group uh, this is a citrine group with the taurus cancer and aquarius this is going to be a beautiful red jasper group number four with this um, scorpio capricorn and sagittarius I'm going to meet you on your reading um, and we will see that all the detail about your future spouse and partner. Um, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and give me your feedback. I will really appreciate it. I want to see that if you have already met them or you're manifesting them, if you don't met them, anything, let me know. I will meet you on your reading. Let's go. Group number one, welcome. If you choose this beautiful Carnelian heart with the zodiac sign Gemini, Aries and Virgo. Welcome on your reading. First of all, we're going to see that um, who will be your future spouse. I'm going to pull some two oracles card with along with uh, basically who is this person? Who will be your future spouse? I'm going to put pull one or two card maybe to see. Okay, we got the three here. We will see it um, in a minute. This is going to talk about this person. And already, this is going to describe this person, anything that you need to know and all that stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, first of all, from this, we have the hangman. We have the two of pentacles. Infinitive symbol could be important here. Number eight could be August. We have the page of pentacle. And we also have the map here with the kitty. This way or that way. But this person already come a long way interesting who is this person the creator oh goodness what is this energy we have the drain almost like the water is coming out this is we're going to see that how or maybe you're going to meet or your relationship dynamic or anything else but i'm going to also pull some type of a you know dice here to see who this person is anything about this person please oh number five could be important we have a aries so this person could be aries fifth house we already have a aries so they maybe have a some of you this person could have a aries aries stellium okay they could even have a aries stellium in the fifth house fifth house by the way is all about uh, romance and dating so this could be somebody that you will date first or you could be currently dating but who knows uh let me see and this is Uranus. So this person could have a Uranus in Aries or fifth house. Interesting. I'm picking up this person is going to be very impulsive. Okay. That's how you will know. Um, your connection is going to be also with this Uranus energy is going to be unexpected, sudden, shocking, surprising. Um, there will be, a, I don't know, like ab abrupt energy here, like out of the blue, out of the sudden, you will be dating this person or you will fall for this person. I'm also picking up this could be something with like one night stand or hookup energy with the fifth house. And some of you be careful with the pregnancy here because this is the pregnancy, the dating period when you are going to get intimate or you're going to be dated, uh, dating with each other. Uh, I'm picking up there will be, uh, because fifth house is also talk about children here and Uranus could be there's a sudden unexpected pregnancy here. And with this energy, with the drain here, I'm not picking up, by the way, this energy is all about release, okay? Uh, release and uh, 
removing of the toxic energy or removing of the curse, you know, and could be letting out things. But what <laughs> I don't want to go the 18 plus energy, but this looks like something is coming out. So, you know what I mean? 18 plus, you get it, right? You get it. Something is letting out. So, and the creator is, oh my God, all the mind is definitely going there. Um, but yeah, could be. This is something that um, there is going to be a pregnancy because this person has been holding for a long time and then you both are going to like uh, make love or creating love together. So obviously, I'm talking about being intimate. So there is a pregnancy here, unexpected, sudden. This is be this is will this will be happening in uh, dating period. Okay, so if you are dating this person, but. It's also talking about your marriage is going to be sudden. Now, for those of you who definitely does not want to be um, willingly, you don't want to be, you know, in relationship or you don't want to be get pregnant before. This is for those people who are definitely going to be after marriage. Your pregnancy is definitely going to be very sudden and unexpected uh, and very fast, very soon. Your relationship is also going to move very fast. It's also going to be your marriage is also going to be sudden and unexpected. OK, but. With this also energy here, some of you, your marriage could be, is like, you will feeling like you're married, you're not getting married, and there's a curse here. So there will be a removing of a curse here in this connection, and removing toxicity and releasing the past. Either you have a past before that, uh, that with the, the hangman, things need to change, perspective need to change. And also with the hangman, it's like there will be some type of a stagnant energy between you and this person, or some of you... Obviously, when you will meet this person or maybe you don't know this person yet because there is definitely weight here and there's still things are stuck. Things are not moving forward. Things are like somebody's like tied down here with this hanged man here. Can you see that? It's not just uh, this, this person's hands are locked and the feet is, are also uh, locked here, but the key is also in the hand here. So there is some type of a sabotage energy here, releasing of sabotage energy, releasing of the toxicity or the past or removal of the curse. You know, there will be some delays here. And with the two of pentacles, it's like something like ongoing situation, like somebody is not ready to make up their mind or ready to get married. Maybe when you're dating this person or when you're getting to know them, because there will be a fifth house energy, I'm telling you. It's going to be like a strong... In intense attraction um you know feeling the passion feeling the desire and dating maybe even and intimate with each other and there's also like a children is very important here either you both are going to talk about children um there's also something to do with maybe um somebody's worry about children i don't know or somebody's a child like acting like a child because i'm seeing that this person need to grow up with the two of pentacle and we also have a page of pentacle so this is definitely it's like it's like worth the wait whatever this is because somebody is bringing something serious on the table here so that could be uh, energy here i'm also picking up maybe this is also the connection that where you will meet this person will you will get to know them and uh, something between you and this person will come with this uranus energy something like unexpected happen uh, or someone acted childishly or something let out or toxicity come out let's say or somebody's triggered so they need to go through this all healing and spiritual awakening um and after that this beautiful blessing or spiritual awakening and creation of this beautiful connection is going to transformed i also believe that you're uh, getting to know this person time is going to be uh, maybe it's like a very for me it's like it's also coming is like frustration period uh when you both are going to get to know each other or maybe some of you you are single right now obviously you did not met this person so you're really waiting for this person like waiting your options weighing down like when you're gonna meet how you're gonna meet you're not sure uh, if you will ever be in a relationship and some of you you're even going going to feel like that you're cursed in love or are maybe you're never gonna get married maybe that's what you what's coming in your mind or maybe this person is coming in your mind in their mind but by the way this could be when somebody who thought that they're never gonna be in a relationship but they could be your future spouse definitely have a history, man or woman, whoever they are, dating people in relationship. Uh, maybe they have a history of dating people, you know, unexpected, sudden, and hookups, one night stands. There's a definitely impulsive energy here. So this person get into a relationship and then they will be like, oh, I'm in trouble. I'm going to get out because this is not what I wanted. But I think they, they used to be in relationships in the past, but this was not just something serious or... But obviously with you, it's going to be something worth it. This person is going to be very hardworking, very consistent. Um, they're going to be also very loyal and honest. Um, with the map here, this person have a vision, like where they want to go. They're very determined with this energy here. But they could be also like somebody who take their lo a lot of time. They could be not spiritually awakened, so they need a lot of time to think and making a decision. They're going to take a lot of time in overthinking or could be when I'm thinking like procrastination. 
yeah, I look like they're sabotaging it. This this person is going to be like that. They also have a creative block. I'm picking up with a creator energy here. So they could be a content creator or they created their own life, could be a self-made person. They have a lot of things to do. They have a lot of energy coming in themselves. But the problem is that they don't show or express themselves as much because they could be worried too much or they could overthink too much, sabotage themselves, I think. This person is also going to be a multitasker. You can, gonna, you're going to see that. They have a magic in their hand or whatever they create. They could be an artist, painter. They do this as an activity or hobby. This person also is could be very expert in some type of a skill I'm picking up. They may be, whatever the work they do, I think some of you, this person could handle two business or two works, two jobs, but they're very multitasking. I can see that. But as far as, you know, let's say, intimacy or uh, romantic relationships, I think they're not experienced that much because they just used to be in, you know, like physical connections or... They were childish and immature in relationships. They never experienced something. Uranus is also is like something change, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. So this person could be very brave, very uh, like go-getter with the Aries energy. Whenever they want something, they get it. Um, fifth house also talk about creativity. This is also somebody who's going to be very, very um, unexpected for you or sudden for you. Like you're not expecting, but this is definitely type of a person that... Uh, you're going to be dating or you're going to fall in love or you're going to get married. Whatever you're looking for in a future partner or spouse. I think this is going to be a releasing energy of the past. Um, that's going to trigger both of you or especially your person. This person is ha has a lot of things that the blockages that they need to let it out and get, you know, like release something, detoxify their soul, their heart, their energy. That's very important. Maybe before meeting you, they're going to do it or after meeting you, this relationship is going to be like that. Now, let's see um, how and when you will meet this person. What is the significant uh, things that you need to know about this connection? We have the cancer, nurture, comfort and protection. Yeah, this is we have an Aries. Oh, my God. <laughs> this person definitely have a strong Aries placement. Aries, uh, I'm picking up Aries stellium, uh, independence, bravery and patient passion. Yeah, they are. They are. They, this person could be uh, have a water and uh, they have a water and fire in their chart and we also have a lot of earth energy here so it could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be Pisces energy something about number 12 is important here at the month of December now let's see more we have the Pluto oh my god transformation transform yeah so yeah this person went through a lot it's on a spiritual level. It's also on a personal growth here. This person also need to get out of their comfort zone, challenge themselves um, with the Pluto and the hangman, I think. And the skull is there. This person need to be transformed and changed. They could be very like a stubborn person with the Aries placements coming. They're going to be very stubborn, very like childish, immature in the sense like not matured up or level up. So they're going to take their time. Okay. Uh, and with this Pluto, this connection is going to be very, very spiritual, very transforming. Either, I don't know, you both are going to be transformed into a totally different person, the best version of yourself, okay? Um, I'm also picking up because the Pluto came up in between. This is like a, you could be a, let's say, Aries and Cancer, you know, or Scorpio or Sagittarius. I'm picking up fire and water. So let's say Leo and Pisces, Aries and Cancer, Sagittarius and Scorpio. I'm just giving you the example. So fire and water. One person who is very emotional, okay, like watery, they're going to change into fiery person, independent, confident, because that's what the, your connection is going to bring in this connection after marriage or when you're dating or when you're getting to know each other. And the other person who is very fiery, they're going to convert into, transform into very emotional. So you're going to bring the best out of each other and you both need it. That's how your, your relationship is going to transform and that's why you're meeting each other and that's why this relationship is going to be very, very important with the Pluto on a soul level. You're gonna, and Uranus too. It's a life-changing, it's a life-changing uh, connection for both of you. Um, one person is very adv uh, adventurous, open, brave, passionate, creative, a very like go-getter. Other person is very romantic, emotional, and sensitive. Your sp future partner and spouse also have these both energies in them. They carry themselves, but I think they show this side only to their loved ones. Or they will have a difficulty to transform that, to express, to confess, to create. So I think that's how maybe they create emotions or they express themselves into something like they, they work, they create, they build. Um, somehow they they do it with their expression or creativity uh, or through their work, I would say. They could be entrepreneur for some of you or one day they are going to be, uh, create their own business. This is like somebody who need to trust themselves. 
okay so this connection is going to be very transformative and they are also transformed in their life a lot you will see that their life journey is definitely not easy they went through a lot and they transformed that person that they need to be but this person somehow is going to be very nurturing caring and loving but only with the loved ones and with you that's how you're going to see this person has a mixture of masculine and feminine energy they're balanced by the way they're going to be balanced in masculine and feminine but i'm also picking up you both are going to balance each other masculine and feminine side you have a infinity symbol here so this is going to be very like infinity bond it's not going anywhere i'm also picking up hot and cold energy maybe they will be sometime very hot and sometime they will be very cold but somehow they're going to be very very um, expressive uh, invested in you this is also somebody who's going to be very independent very confident they love their freedom so that's why this person's life is going to be totally changed after meeting you or transformed after marriage okay you 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 both are going to be transformed totally different person this is also somebody who need with the pluto and hangman i'm picking up they need to transform they need to open their mind you know look at the bigger picture of the connection maybe they were restricted to do things or they were blocked i can see that they have the key they want it but somehow they were not sure how it's going to work maybe with you or overall in their life but yeah i think this connection is going to be very beautiful now let's see more um anything that you need to know how and when you will meet or get married we have a february is the important month here so winter okay and we also have august so yeah it could be summer and winter that could be important month february and august i told you it's a pisces and leo for some of you um, not for everybody it could be august leo and february pisces uh, I'm just uh, telling you that's how it, it is. It does not have to be, but we, are, we also have our Aries and Cancer here. Um, so these months are very important. Either you're going to meet them or you will start dating or you will get married. But these months are very important. Now let's see your relationship. Um, you know, how this is going to transform into something. Flirt, yeah. Ex extend your lighthearted energy to others. This is somebody who's going to be very flirty. I can see that with a fifth house too. They know how to talk. They will be very, very invested in you. They will be very, very drawn to you. Yeah, they're going to be very flirty. This is going to be a very flirtatious connection. But we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah, Pluto. It's a soul level. It's a spiritual connection. Could be a soulmate. But before that, um, or when you will meet each other or when you're dating, this is going to be definitely some type of a spiritual awakening or healing, um, releasing the past, trauma, and anything that's really need to, you know, you should be, you both should be uh, in this very loving and giving energy to be together. That's very important. One of you could be very flirty here, okay? Or uh, with a true love, they are romance of a lifetime. This, this remind me of like twin flame or soulmates vibe, does not have to be, but could be. This is a very like, once in a lifetime type of a connection this is finally you're going to be like oh i finally my true love but especially from your future spouse partner side you will be this person true love like they they can't forget you like you will be have you know like it's like a soul print you have the print on their soul with the pluto energy like you changed transformed uh their life are you both you both are going to be very like transformed into a different person i told you one of you is going to bring the you both are going to bring this other side of in each other but there will be also tension here it's going to be a it's also giving me the love and hate connection to be honest i'm not gonna lie this is that type of a connection here where you're you love somebody but you hate and hate them so much that because you're triggering each other and you are also going to this is not easy with the fire and water it's going to be very complicated but it's worth it i think you both are going to create a very beautiful connection with each other and after that too we have benefit of the doubt give your relationship a chance yeah give them give this a chance give this um maybe some of you i feel like uh, if something like transformed between you and this person so they will come back with some type of a you know another chance when they will change or something magnetism yeah there is a, a gravitation pull to each other look at this how they are together there's a lot of dancing here it's giving me the cinderella vibe or princess you know look at this this person is going to be all about you especially the masculine in this connection look at this the masculine they're all about look at this lovey-dovey and touchy look at this you know that's how your connection is going to be very very like uh, physical magnetic attractive and i told you already there's a lot of passion here there's a lot of release energy so let's see now anything else that you need to know Okay, I'm going to ask the question, um, how you will know that he or she is the one? Now, that's the question. 
how you will know that he or she is the one and you will meet them or when you will get to know them let's see how you will know that it, it's he or she is the one and, and this one okay these two cards five of wands and knight of pentacles five of swords sorry okay you will know that this person is going to yeah this person is going to give you the headache very clearly they will be on your nerve they will get on your nerves with the five of swords energy there will be a lot of maybe verbal fights conflicts argument there will be also power struggle with this person i can t i told you already there this is like a love and hate connection and there could be a gossip involved here with the five of swords here with something but this is like a lot of tensions like mental um stress you know because you both are somehow not on the same page are not understanding so you will have difficulty to understand this person in the beginning another thing knight of pentacle they're going to be very slow to bring you or give you this this offer this is also somebody i told you they're very hot-headed with this all um aries coming and fire sign coming and pluto and the hangman they need a time you need to be patient with this person because they are coming with something solid and serious and they really want to give you. Another thing is when this person is going to give this something serious and solid offer, there will be a lot of gossips, rumors from this person. I saw triple one, two, one, one, two. You could be keep seeing this mirror number. So they were, they're going to be leaving people behind from the past and uh, there will be some gossips here or jealousy involved here people not gonna like it that this person is is offering you this something serious or they're committed to you when they're coming or commit to you they're only going to come into you they're going to be loyal with you only but there will be something i told you with this five of swords there's some type of a releasing clearing detoxy uh, detoxify energy here releasing the curse releasing the connection releasing the past that's going to be very very significant in this connection and triggers obviously and that's why it's, it's saying the benefit the doubt give this connection a chance see them uh give them uh you know like a chance uh, even though there will be some type of a disturbance i'm picking up in the trouble obviously with the uranus and pluto there will be some like let's say meeting the right person on the wrong wrong timing i saw triple two or the something that happened between me and this person or, or maybe your first impression is our first meeting or somehow when you were trying to get to know this person is not going good but once you're going to get to know them slowly but surely and with the time you will know that this is the one okay that's how you will know so this is going to be your future spouse let me see if there is anything else that you need to know about this person i'm gonna pull some anything else that's coming about this person that you need to know yeah look at this there's something is going to be blockage here in the beginning yeah the fire definitely there will be a lot of desire passion tension stress number seven and four could be important or 47 it's 11 so union yeah it's going to be very soul full connection it's like a soul contract here you will meet this person um but there will be it's, it's, it's like new zealand is important here or netherland i'm picking up gen z this person could be from gen z generation okay or you could be yeah it could be a rainbow tribe you guys are or there will be a lot of rainbow after the trouble of the after the storm i'm picking up yeah we have music is very important or creativity there there's definitely something a need to oh i just did it and it's 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 made it like infinity symbol and we have an infinity symbol so number eight could be important or significant so yeah it's saturn is number is like a karmic connection karmic soulmate this is somebody so there's something that you both need to release forgive and release the negativity toxicity okay yeah money is important here this person could be rich and wealthy or they're gonna uh, make a lot of money and wealth or could be they're going to remove some type of a financial blockage yeah this is somebody who's going to come to you with the angel blessing healing the star star seed could be somebody who's very spiritual somebody who's like a wish fulfillment somebody who's also wishing to be with you aquarius energy sagittarius energy and the anchor yeah this is going to be something permanent it's something like something is going to be permanent this person is once in a lifetime type of person with a true love once they are with you once they're committing to you it's all about you always remember that this is a aries this is somebody who's like a determined when they want something they're gonna get it i'm picking up they are very like hot-headed but you need to be patient you need to be they also i'm picking up they have a fire and earth or fire and air in their chart but somehow there will be a trouble in the beginning or some type of a ego clash or something you both are going through some type of spiritual awakening or healing but this relationship is going to be long lasting 
uh, and also very passionate, very driven, very spiritual and meant to be together. But again, at the end of the day, this is going to be your choice if you're going to give them a chance or not. That's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome. If you choose the amethyst hair, um, this is a very beautiful purple amethyst um, matching with my nail paint. Okay, we have a Pisces, Leo and Libra. If, if you choose it by your zodiac sign and you choose this wheel of the year tarot deck with this couple of two of cups. So let me pull one or two or let's see anything about your future spouse, future partner. Who will be your future spouse? Anything. And then I will pull some oracles card. Let's see. Anything that we need to know about your future spouse. Okay. Anything else coming about this person? Okay. Thank you. Anything else you want to give us? Okay. No. Thank you, Spirit. And I also, also pre-shuffle uh, pre some oracles card here to see who this person is. So let's see. Your future spouse. Oh, apocalypsis, and there's an eye here. We have a talisman. Wow, what in the world happening for you? Talisman, it's like, wow, blessing in disguise I'm picking up. With this pile okay let's see this is going to be talk about how when you will meet your relationship dynamic and everything we will see it later but before that i'm going to see what is this in the cards first came up like this we have a ten of cups we have the magician can you see that okay and then we have the empress mm, goodness mommy here mommy empress sunflower could be important color yellow and red is important here oh you have a two major arcana can you see that we pull the cards in front of you this person has a Gemini and Virgo placement Taurus or Libra I'm picking up Venus and Mercury so communication um, is very very important for your future spouse or partner uh, we also have a ten of cups this is going to be your happily ever after your beautiful ending with this person. Now listen what I'm saying. With the magician here, this is somebody, either you know it or you don't know it, they are manifesting you in their life. You manifested this person. You manifest this exactly this type of a person that I want in my life and you will get it. This person is going to be either younger by their look Let's say they could be older than you, but they look younger or they are younger than you, but they're very wise and experienced. And I'm also picking up for some of you, they will be in their 29 because I, I channel your energy like they could be into their 20 to 30s in mid. So let's say this could be their first Saturn return when they're going to get married to you. OK, there's something about Venus and Mercury too conjunction here. So in their birth chart or in your birth chart. OK, that's where with the talisman here, they're going to find you. And they're gonna fall in love and they're gonna communicate they're gonna express and they will be ready to marry now i'm also picking up here something about significant five years maybe your relationship is like you're going to get to know each other you will date you will get married within the five years so five years are very important either you will know them in a five years or you just you're going to get to know them i'm, I'm keep seeing five years or four okay 31 now listen when you will meet this person they will be in 29 30 or 31 this will be the age I'm telling you. Either you will get married with them or they will be in this age when you will meet them. But this is going to be very like a instant marriage. Okay, I just forgot what I forgot. I just forgot about it. So let me pull some um, dice here to see your future spouse. That's interesting. I'm, I'm, um, I, ca I can almost envision that, but I'm going to describe it. Who will be this person? Okay, we have the fifth house, uh, number five, and we have the moon. And we have the Taurus. So this person could be a Taurus moon. And with the fifth house energy here, this person could be even have a moon in fifth house. Um, or they could have a moon in Taurus, does not have to be. Um, they could be have a Taurus fifth house. So it's mean that they're going to be Capricorn rising. Does not have to be. But listen, what I'm picking up here, this person with the moon in Taurus, they're going to be very, very attractive. Very, very attractive. Very seductive. Very beautiful. 
uh, Taurus again. It's like uh, Venus is very important here in this person chart. They maybe have a Taurus stellium in their chart. I'm picking up. Yeah, they will have it with this Empress and the Taurus coming also. They also have a Moon and uh, Mercury conjunction. So it's going to be show them younger, they're younger by their age or they will never get older. I think their their face is always going to be like a baby, baby like, like very young, very youthful. Uh, whatever it's like they're, they're getting old with a fine wine okay now another thing is i'm picking up here with this moon and venus conjunction here that this person is going to be very very romantic very caring very loving very nurturing like doesn't matter whatever their gender is i'm not talking about man or woman i'm talking about their energy now listen to me they're going to be very very nurturing loving caring like very like giving person like a mother you know mother to a child and I love that, how I am seeing your cards representing your future spouse or partner. This is a magician. This is Empress. This is Ten of Cups. This is somebody who wants a marriage. This is somebody who wants a family. This is, this is somebody who wants a kid. And I love that the Empress is there and there's a kid here and there's a couple here, right? Like two people coming together and they're creating a baby. So this is going to be a very beautiful creation of uh, this connection, okay? You're going to create a baby together. This is somebody that you're meant to have a family, meant to have a baby with. You are also going to dream about this person with a magician, like before meeting them or before maybe when you're getting to know them or when you're dating with the fifth house. It's a dating period. You are going to be seeing maybe a lot of dreams about this person, baby, mama, you know, family, um, and uh, could be getting married with this person there's something about color red is very popping and purple maybe you're going to wear some type of a very beautiful red yellow or purple or blue dress on your marriage or white also for some of you but I'm, I'm not picking sunflower could be very important here and there's also another energy here is young and older energy so this is somebody who is going to treat you like the empress like the princess you know, prince's treatment, or if you're a man here, prince treatment, whatever you want to take the treatment is. Ten of Cups, remember that this is a happily ever after. This person could have a beard on their face, or they look very beautiful and young, even though when they have a beard or when they have no beard. So they can carry the both things very well. They're very attractive. Their features is definitely going to be young on their face. Doesn't matter how they look like. They have a baby face. This is also somebody who's going to meet you, and they will exactly know that you are the one with the empress they will know that just you are the one they want to get married and they're going to manifest you and can you see that how this person is becoming like aggressive and like i just want it so they're going to be like they're going to manifest you they're going to they will just know that you're the one and you will also exactly know that this is your person you will have a very beautiful family it's going to be very loving connection very comfortable connection with this empress energy and uh, uh, you know I'm, i was i was channeling uh, you know um Taurus, moon energy so this is somebody who's going to be very seductive they could be into fashion or they look very beautiful very young very youthful very like uh, yeah so we are also talking about um, apocalypses this is somebody um, who could be coming out of a divorce a relationship um, something ended in their life and it's a big 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 impact on this person's soul or in their life something changed so maybe they got recently single they got out of uh, maybe very let's say um long-term partnership or relationship with somebody now some of you you or them or one of you or both of you could be i don't know or one of you is definitely already have maybe let's say kids or relationship or have a baby but with you it's something totally different obviously because they're going to marry again because after this incident or accident whatever happened the tragedy happened it's like they thought that this is the end of the world this person thought that they're never going to find somebody again they're never going to fall in love again they thought that they're never going to be it's like and now also picking up i love that how the cards are uh, you know coming with this apple Epiclipses with the talisman this person is going to find you like a talisman you like you are going to give the birth to this person like a baby you're going to give them the like the life you know in the dead person you know so this is that type of a connection that when they will meet you they're going to find their life again they're going to be happy again they're going to create their world again because they already it's look like lost a lot of things they lost themselves they lost maybe i don't know wherever they lost themselves they're gonna definitely it's like why I'm feeling this person was dead. Like you will see this person's eyes and you will be feeling like they don't have a life. They're not happy. They're dead. They don't want to live maybe. They want to end. They, there's something big 
is going to change and this this is giving me the like an earthquake energy like something is damaged destructive destruction energy this is also somebody who's going to change the big changes in their life they're going to create it in order to be with you this person is going to be a talisman for you it's like this connection is going to be very protective they're going to be very very protected of you uh, because no matter what can you see that this person is going to be like touch her and i'm going to kill you touch him or i'm going to kill you because this is everything that i got this is somebody who's going to protect you and the family is like just i don't know like they're going to be like and they have their eyes can you see that they're going to be very intense there's something about this person's eyes is going to be very intense with the moon card they're going to come off like very mysterious um they're not going to be sure their expression their feelings that much but with this fifth house energy it's also like childbirth here they really want a child or they're going to act like a child and i'm also picking up somehow child and mother dynamic here with you then i'm not saying that they're going to be childish or they're like your baby sitting somebody no either they gonna take care of you like a mother like a very warm energy like a very very giving energy like an empress energy or are they gonna protect you like a father i think you, your connection is going to be very very strong very intense there will be age gap here but this you are going to sit on the throne with a proud like oh i just got this person and i know that this person is my uh, good luck this is somebody who's going to bring good luck into your life maybe this is you you're ending something and this person is going to be the blessing in disguise for you you never thought that you're ever going to be fall in love or you will get married or you will have kids or this is also somebody this i think you both are going to bring a lot of changes in each other life with the fifth house energy here there's also a lot of maybe you will date this person and with the moon here maybe you both are going to get to know each other and it's going to be a secretive and private this person could be even have a eyes on you or before meeting you they're going to definitely will be will be very very attracted to you uh with this silly man energy they're going to bring a lot of good luck in your life or you will be very good luck for this like you will be lucky for this person so they will always take you and always protect you or they will be your lucky charm someone is lucky charm for the other person are bringing the good luck but i think you both are going to bring the good luck in each other life in a different way this person is going to flower this is this person is going to bloom or blossom or smile because of you you will see that it completely changed com completely transformed and they will do it for you i think they will do it for you now let's see what's more here in this connection uh i think this person is going to be very foody um they could even have a habit of like they love moon maybe there's something about they like comfort they're they're very very comfort comfortable or comfort they're also very picky i'm picking up this person is very picky about dating romance relationships okay because they're very loyal and they when they when they want something they want to get serious and i'm also picking up this person is going to be very like dressing style like they they're going to be like very into seductive clothes or very comfortable is very important for this person they're also going to make a comfort for you very cozy things or expensive things luxurious things they're going to bring they, you will date with this person in a very expensive hotels or i don't know you will experience something very expensive for this person they're going to spoil you by the way i'm hearing luxurious nights fun nights with this person you will never forget the nights with this person something about night life maybe that's going to be very significant you will always enjoy at a night or go out and date and you know um yeah in a night in a night it's such a list man like there's something is going to be um this person always have the eyes on you and always going to protect you no matter wherever you are this person is also going to do something by the end of this world like they're going to wherever you are wherever you are they're going to do they're going to go for you they're at that point of the world to get you to be there with you and they're going to change transform their life because I think there's something about you 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 give them the light life you give them the birth with a baby too it's a birth of this person by the way but the birth of a connection with you it's something very beautiful they never experienced they never thought that they're going to do it now let's see uh, the connection dynamic jupiter here you go we have a venus here and jupiter husband and wife grow and expand yeah this is somebody who's definitely you will have a maybe big family with this person okay with a jupiter here i'm picking up what's more we have the house 5 another fifth house yeah energy here um uh, we have a passion play children uh confidence and creativity this person is going to be very creative they're also going to sing a song for you or this person maybe write something create something express themselves into romantic things gifts they're going to be very playful with you they're going to talk a lot but i think they're going to be talk a lot with you only this is a chatterbox but i don't think so they talk to other people they they they're only going to talk to you This person also have a lot of friends. 
maybe they have a friends from childhood or friends from their youthful side okay you will bring the youthful side of this person we have a multiple gemini virgo sagittarius and pisces and we have a pisces already so we have a surrender fluidity flu flu deity and welcoming change so this is going to be a change this person is going to be giving i told you they're going to be very giving i think this is also somebody who's going to be very open to you very expressive with a jupiter something is going to expand to you something is going to like this person is coming with a protection okay uh, it's like a gift given from the god or universe whatever you believe in it's going to be your lucky charm it's going to be your good luck it's also like somebody that you always always going to be blessed to have them in your life this is a husband this is also somebody this connection is going to be very beautiful very large large level of experience okay this is also somebody could be a foreigner or maybe this connection is going to be a foreigner to you because something that you never experienced before very very loving person very very loving woman or man that you never even thought that but th this connection is going to flow it's like there's no this connection i don't think so you need to force each other or to change each other this is just going to be flow flow of the energy flow of the relationship when you're talking you're just going to keep talking to each other and all the night passed this is that type of a connection is going to be like you both are going to learn a lot, okay? One of you is going to play the role of a teacher in somebody's life. Are you going to learn from them? They're going to learn from you a lot of things. This is somebody who's going to be very giving. And there's something about praying, meditation, something to do with the water here also. This person is very spiritual or they believe in spirituality. This connection is also going to be very, very, I think, um, giving connection. They're bringing a lot of luck in your life and growth and expansion in your life wow this is very beautiful now let's see anything else that you need to know we have a march and november could be important here so pisces aries um sagittarius or scorpio important here so i'm also picking up spring and winter is important this season either you will meet them or you will get married to them anything else that you need to know Making the, make the effort. A great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. This person is going to keep making the effort. I think they will keep doing things for you that you will not believe that they're doing it. I think this person is going to love you, adore you. Like You will just know that. You will just know that how much they are putting the effort, how much they love you, how much they care for you. They value you. Again, the children are very, very important here. Religious factors, yes. Your love life is influenced by your religious uh, upbringing and spiritual path. So one of you could be very spiritual, okay? Or you both could be, one of you could be a religious person, other is not. You both could be coming from a different place. Again, I told you with a Jupiter, could be a foreign energy. Communication is the key. Maybe you both speak different language. That's what you're going to understand. But you both are also coming with a very, very like a beautiful culture, tradition, and religion, Okay. Uh, and I'm also picking up here, yeah, one of you could be very traditional, other person is also like very religious and spiritual, um, but you will date each other with the fifth house. Number five is also talk about change here. Could be five years age gap here, but could be something to do with uh, bringing change in the connection and in the world, in each other world, personally, spiritually, and growing together. I'm hearing grow, they want to grow old with you. We have you are worthy of this love. Yes, your worth does not depend on the other person. So I think you will be in this period of energy that, yeah, I think you will know your worth and value. And this person is going to treat you exactly like that. Twin flame union. Uh, heart, body, mind, and soul. Everything is going to connect with this person. Wow. So this could be a twin flame connection. For some of you, not everybody. I'm also picking up your Venus and Jupiter is going to conjunct with this person. Or it could be your moon and... Uh, sun could be another thing i'm picking up your maybe venus and mercury is going to be conjunct with this person very very beautiful connection very creative very expressive very psychic intuitive connection okay now anything else that how you will know that this is your future spouse how you will know that this is your future spouse three of cups Okay, some of you, you will meet this person through friends, um, okay, and some of you with the Jupiter, and uh, we have also, 
I forgot that how you're going to meet. So we have a Jupiter and the fifth house. So some of you, you're going to meet them when you're dating, when you're getting to know people, you're making friends, when you're expressing yourself and creativity, maybe on, on the bigger level. So it could be on social media, internet, or you're attending some type of an event, or you're attending with your friends, like some type of a concert, music concert, and this person is there. This could be even something that, um, something about large audience uh, or place huge place so it could be in a stadium okay you're definitely enjoying there with your friends uh, for some type of us enjoying to sports or moving into a big country like going there for travel with the fifth house having fun being playful enjoying there could be even a big luxurious hotel or restaurant like somebody's like a very famous and popular thing that you're going there you're you're there and you're going to meet this person there but could be even with the fifth house energy also like children is, is going to play the important role here either our friends, creativity, your voice, your expression and also uh, when you're enjoying in the foreign land with the Jupiter here or learning maybe for education you're going there or maybe for travel okay a learning experience could be something about also spirituality involved here or, or maybe your religious place maybe your spiritual or religious place like you will go in a foreign and this person could be from that place and you will meet them there now three of cups here uh, how you will know them uh, first of all you're going to meet this person either through friends or you will get to know each other through friendship you will be friends of each other or maybe mutual friends or you maybe meet them through community friends like you see them maybe you're going to meet them in a public event so you know this person three of cups maybe through friends of friends or mutual friends or, or you just have an idea now three of cups is also talk about friendship so maybe you will start as a friends getting to know each other it could be even a collaboration or something or maybe two of wands yeah <laughs> How you will you will feel like a competition with this person you will like you will think like oh you know two friends are fighting so there will be a competition like who will win and it's a two goats here so it could be a Capricorn energy two of wands here like who will win okay another thing I'm picking up here how you will know that this is the one so this could be somebody that your friend also like them and you like them too so that's a very specific it's not going to resonate with everybody so you this is you that's how you will know that this is your person or maybe um i don't know it's something about friendship here maybe you know this person friends maybe you are okay let's listen maybe <laughs> you're friends of this person and uh, they're going to compete with their friend just to get to be to, to be with you to want to date you or maybe you will meet this person when you are dating this person friend or this person's friend is your ex because there's a something with the tension between friends here competition between friends or maybe this is like you both are friends like let's say two women is there and fighting for the one man or you both are interested in one person or they're in, into you they're your friends and your friends is getting like no get me this number and then you're, you're going to realize that no you have a feelings for this person so you're going to fight with your friend this person is also going to fight with their friends for you or you will find you will fight with your friends for this person you'll be like no this is not the uh, type of a person like that or something that's how you will know but this is like a two of wands like competition there will be an ego clash here with this person too maybe you will fight with this person friend that's how you you will know that your first impression is going to be or this person's friends fi fight with you first or you know this person friends first okay and then you will meet your future spouse through this through this friend through your friend obviously they're going to be your friend but you're going to meet them through this person something like that okay so that's how you will know now another thing coming up now let's see what's happening i hope it's not a third party situation or something like people are fighting for this person attention yeah maybe people are fighting for this person attention Yeah, I think that's coming up. Yeah, so it's like this person will come in your dreams. It's also like a dream come true with the talisman energy too. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, some of you, it's a surprise. You don't know them yet. Um, or also, you will be questioning. You will keep seeing them in your dreams. They will keep seeing you in dreams. Yeah, there will be some eyes here. Mirror, like, uh, you know, focused on you. I'm also picking up this person and this person's friend is also going to be interested in you. Some of you. Oh my God, that's going to be challenging. Six and five, eleven another one yeah could be 
and 9, 6, 9, 1. You're going to keep seeing this number or 169. This is an angel and master number here, by the way. So yeah, I think you're going to manifest this person. 961, 169, 56, 11, triple 1. Yeah, here you go. Could be they're born into 95, 91, 96. We also have a 69. It's an angel number again, number 15. We have a PJ, JP. We have a C, pajama, I don't know, PC, E, N, Jen, Pen, maybe they're going to write something to you, Jen, and we have uh, JC, could be, I don't know. We also have Heart Chakra, this is a green, so it's going to be very beautiful connection, opening the Heart Chakra and cre creativity. This person is going to be very, very expressive, expressive to you. You're going to open this person's heart, I think. I told you, you're going to give the birth. Or they're going to open your heart. You're going to feel the connection that you never felt for anybody. They will be also like this person is into details. So they're going to definitely focus on you. They want to get to know you better with a, star, with a questioning here. Okay, questioning mark. Now some of you, you will keep seeing this person in your dreams. Or they're going to keep seeing you in dreams. And you, they will not understand that. But meeting this person, that you will get all the answers of your question. Look closely to your dreams. Look closely the questions or you keep seeing the signs here. It's keep taking you on this person place. You're guided. You're protected. You're divinely guided here for this person. And there are also, your connection is going to be protected. I think there will be a jealousy here. I don't know why. From the friends or maybe your friends are going to be jealous. Or there will be some type of a fight and conflict and argument in the community. Uh, or, or you both could be coming from a different places. Remember, I told you one is religious, one is not. Or it could be spiritual beliefs is going to be tested. Religious belief is going to be tested. So there will be a fight here. Everybody's fighting. But you both are obviously meant to be together. Who cares? So <laughs> that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome. If you choose the citrine heart with the Taurus, Cancer, and Aquarius placements, if you have it, if you don't have it, don't worry. This is for the people who choose it by their zodiac sign. And you choose this deck. So something coming up into my mind could be it's a... Rainbow tribe couple. Our rainbow is very important here. And with this heart is coming cross. So it could be a forbidden love for some of you. I'm, I'm channeling, okay? I saw one, four, three. So it could be, uh, this is like, I love you. It's going to be a confession from somebody. Let's see who will be this person. Um, this is going to be... Um, but before that, I'm going to get some type of a two or three cards from it. Who will be your future spouse? How you will know that? It's who will be your future spouse? Please let us know. Okay. Who will be your future spouse? Anything else? Okay. <laughs> that card came up. Okay. Let's see. Um, this is also going to be our oracle's card. That's going to describe them or anything else. And this is going to be a relationship, how, when, where you will meet this person or dynamic or whatever you are bringing in the connection or whatever. Let's see together. Uh, who will be this person? First of all, this. We have the healer. It's came up reverse. So, but I'm going to still see it like that. Oh, we have a serpent, snakes. The healer came up reverse. Double X and V could be important or 25. 25. 35? No, 25. We also have a snail. These animals could be important with the sermets, serpent and snake. We also have a snail. Let's see who will be this person. Yeah, this card came up again with the lovers. That's interesting. And we have nine of pentacles. In this nine of pentacles, can you see that she's worried? She's not happy. She's sad. Financially stable, you know, built up her life, very struggle, challenging situation. She's in a garden, but she's still not happy. She's like, she says something is missing. Nine of pentacles, 69 could be important here. You will see nine, six number, angel number. They could have been born into 96 or five. You have a five of pentacles. Yeah, here you go. Could be born into a dog here, but the dog is barking. Five of pentacles, and then we have eight of wands beautiful energy is this falcon the news is on the way and look at this it's look like the news is on the way and she got the waiting for the news waiting for the arrival of the spouse or waiting for some type of a communication or 
news, you know. Could be this person is born into 85. They could be 80s or 90s person for some of you. And if we go, you know, still far behind it, could be 60s or 50s. I don't know. That's too much. But could be 90s and 80s couple, 60s and 50s or, you know, like. And we have the healer here. We will see that uh, in a minute. I'm going to pull some dice here to see who will be your future spouse. Anything about from the dice. I saw five four five four triple five nine nine. Okay, you will see a lot of angel number here. Capricorn, number six. And this is a Venus. Okay. So this person could be a Capricorn Venus. That's why. And number six, they could have a Venus in their sixth house. So you're going to meet this person through work, business, job, your profession, your work. Or wherever your daily routine is, wherever you go every day. Now some of you, this person could be, we have a healer came up reverse. They need to heal. They have some unfinished uh, wounds here that they need, they need to go through it. Now with the five of pentacles, I can see that whoever your future spouse is, they feel lack. They, maybe they feel like they're not worthy of something. Double four, double five, triple five. Again, I saw it. You're going to keep seeing it. This is going to be a changing situation here. Now, five of pentacles brings talk about a lot of things here. Either they're coming from poverty. They've worked very hard for it with a sixth house and a Capricorn. They've worked very hard for the luxury with a Venus. So they're definitely coming from poverty. And they've worked very hard with a very slow movement with a snail. So I think this person is like brick by brick. Can you see that? Brick by brick, they worked very hard for the money, wherever they will be with the Nine of Pentacles here. They've worked very, very hard. And I'm also picking up this person, maybe compromised a lot of things. You know, I think, and they never forget about it. They never forgot about these things. So this is somebody who is with a snail here. They are very slow mover. This is also somebody who's going to be a slow talker. Like they're not going to talk like, oh, mama, mama, yes. For example, the way I'm talking, okay? They're not fast. They're going to talk very slow. They're also very slow moving. They're very like a Virgo and Capricorn here, Taurus and Libra energy here. They could have a Earth. All the all the air, sorry Earth sign is here, so they're gonna be very slow. But we also have a Taurus, Cancer, and Aquarius energy here. This is somebody who's going to be very very um, open-minded. They're gonna be very unique and different. They worked very hard for the luxury lifestyle. They're also coming from the poverty here, but they don't want to live that type of a lifestyle. So for that, I think they worked very hard. They compromised a lot of things. They sacrificed a lot of things. Because I'm seeing the lovers here. There's something about they are either not allowed to love or they just like said, no, I'm never going to be in love. Love is not for me. So I'm going to work hard only. It's all about money. I'm all about money. So this is this person's perception is because they're coming from lack and they don't want to live in that energy. But once they're going to have money, look at this, nine of pentacles. When they're going to be financially stable and have everything all, then they will think, oh, I'm so lonely. I need somebody to talk. I need somebody to fall in love. And maybe they have a very bad and past experience in the love was not good. And after that, because they're not healed, this person is not healed properly, either from their childhood, from the past, this is also somebody who never got loved from their family. They feel like they're not, they're only going to be, their family is only going to love them if they will have money. If they are going to achieve something financially, let's say, or materialistic. This is what this person is all about. I'm not saying that they're a bad person. Or, or this is, their perception is all about them. You will see them. It's not about you. This is how this person's perception is. Now, with the five of pentacles here, you can see that this person is going to be very, the, the first thing that you're going to notice are that, uh, or you will get to know them, you will see that they're coming from lack, or they still not got over that thing. They maybe think they're not worthy of love. That something is, is in them that they're not healed. This person is a healer. Once they're going to heal, once they're going to transform their life and change their vision and change themselves. Maybe they know it or not, but they could be healing for a lot of people. Their presence is also healing and very nurturing and loving for people, or maybe inspiration for many, but they don't think themselves like that. They think they're toxic. They think they are, they're not a good person. But I think for some reason I'm picking up with a 6,000 Venus. This person do something creative as a business, as work. So they could be, let's say, they could be a model. They could be into fitness. 
they own their own gym, they make money, they could content create, they could be a content creator. Like they, uh, something that they, they do every day and they make the content of it. I'm also picking up this is somebody who could own the business or an entrepreneur by themselves or they will own it business. Venus in Capricorn, they could even be coming from property or they have their own property. Farming, maybe something to do with the farming. They take care of their family. They take care of the property or the houses. You know, could be in a real estate. But I see with the sixth house, there's definitely this person has a daily routine and work that they go there. And their lifestyle is very like busy, luxurious also, but they're gonna make it with their hard work, obviously. And this person believe in slow and steady win the race, obviously, because we have a Capricorn here. With the Venus in Capricorn, this person is going to be older than you. Could be a six years age gap here, does not have to be. Um, either you will be older than this person or they will be older than you. But this person, I think they learn a lot, a lot. You know, this is giving me the vibe of somebody who just, uh, become adult in their ch early childhood they, they got the responsibility when they were young when they were a child yeah i think this person there's something about lacking they think that either they don't have a good study they don't have a good grades as compared to other people they don't have a they're not lucky in love this person th this is what they believe in okay there's something about the love is not allowed or they just like literally told them i'm not gonna love again i'm not gonna be in a relationship again i'm not healthy uh or or maybe they they, they become very toxic and healthy in relationship or whenever they jump into a relationship it's it's never fulfilled it's not never happy uh, or let's say people left them out in the cold they have unrequited love before that so they need to heal from the past relationships or past things or maybe even trauma. Maybe they get triggered. Obviously, when we're single, we're not understanding. We're just happy, we're just doing our things in routine. But when we get into a relationship, our own trauma is triggered. That's what this person need to understand. And when they get into a relationship, it's never worked out. Or maybe when they get into a relationship or they were maybe in the past, they thought that this is the one, this is my everything and all, but unfortunately it did not work out. But there's also forbidden love here. Like this person, your love story with them is going to be a forbidden. Some reason I'm picking up, but let's see what's more here. Um, this person is going to be very nurturing, going to play the role of a father in your life. So it doesn't matter you're man or woman, but they're going to be very, very, I think, uh, spoil you. This person's love language could be act of service for you, to be honest. Like they're going to do the stuff for you. They're going to do the things for you. They're going to help you. They're going to support you. This is also somebody who could be, if they are abundant, because I see that they are with the Nine of Pentacles, um, they maybe also travel a lot because of their work with the Eight of Wands. And it's an air travel, by the way, with the Eight of Wands. So this could be a long distance connection here for some of you in the beginning. Maybe that's why they're going to think, oh, it's not allowed. Or I'm not allowed to love. I'm not, it's not possible. Or, or they're going to be like, no, I don't want to fall in love. But, you know, heart wants what it wants. This is that type of um, thing coming into my mind. And there's a barking here. Maybe this person will think that their money is going to be affected, their career is going to be affected. Maybe they're going to meet you or when they're going to fall in love. Or maybe they think that this is also somebody because they're very slow, so they're going to take their time because they think that only one time they can focus on one thing. So they definitely want to focus on their career. When they are in love, they don't focus on love. It looks like this person cannot multitask. Or they think that when they are in love, they forget about money with the five of pentacles and they lose a lot of money. This could be somebody who used to give, uh, you know, or spoil people in love, used to give people and they abuse them. Your person, whoever your future spouse or partner is, they got abused in the relationships. Like they, like, like let's say they're very giving and loving. Obviously they have money and finances. So people took advantage of them basically. And they now, they're going to be understand, okay, now people just want to be with me because this is like giving me the serpent or snake swipe. So they, they got a lot of snakes around them or there will be a jealousy here about this person too. This person could be even coming from a lot of greed here. They used to have a lot of greed or they have like, this is like hungry for money, greed for money. Like I want it, I want to make it happen. I don't, because they wanted this luxurious lifestyle and they did it, I think. Now some of you, they could be in the process of making it with the snail energy and they're gonna do it. With the eight of wands, this, this could be somebody who either you will meet them when they're traveling or they're in a different city or town or you will be also there or this is somebody, could be a foreigner to you with the eight of wands. They definitely live in a different place. 
but there will be an air travel here for some reason. They are, I'm also picking up their travel a lot because of their work. This person could be, they're going to tell you that they, they used to be in a relationship, long distance maybe relationship, that's why it did not work out for them. It's look like they have abundance now, happiness now, but they really want to be more. They want more now. It's look like they've never been satisfied. They're going to be, perf they could be very perfectionist in their work and relationships. They could be even looking for a perfect partner and they need to understand that nobody's perfect. But obviously with you, they're definitely going to understand that with this connection here. They love classy things. This is giving me the old money vibe here with the Venus in uh, Capricorn. And sixth house. Yeah, they're going to dress very well. Old school type of a person. Or they could be even there. It's like the reflection of this person is like definitely old school. They, they believe in old school and traditional type of love. They believe, be, they want to be, it's look like they did, uh, okay, I'm picking up their date to marry. They definitely want to date somebody to marry, but unfortunately, it's never worked out with anybody. So, so maybe that's why when you will meet them, they're going to take it slow. They want to see where this can go before they jump into it because they're not still healed from the past here. You will see that there's something unhealed in this person. You will see it. This person, I'm, I'm feeling like they're going to keep seeing, they're going to keep maybe comparing you with the people or you will see that they went through a lot, a lot. They have a lot of jealous people around them, envious of them. Maybe people does not want this person to, you know, be successful. And they know that, they're aware of it. But let's see more. We have a south node. Yeah, here you go. Destined to release. Oh my God. This person need to let the past go. We have a Leo energy. Self-confidence, loyalty, and creativity. Okay, they could have a Leo placement. House three could be a Gemini. Leo and Gemini here. And Aquarius also here. So Leo and Aquarius. We have an early a learning, childhood, relations, the rational mind, and communication. The house three, yeah, early learning. There's something that the burden came up, came up to them, the responsibility came up to them with the early learning. Child abuse, I'm hearing. No, not in abuse way, but maybe they just need to grow up too early, too soon. Responsibility is coming to them. Yeah, there's something that they need to release from the past here with the South Node. It's very... It's something that they need to let go in order to feel very confident again. This is also somebody who thinks that they're not beautiful, they're not attractive. This is a woman. or They could, they, they could think that they're not handsome, they're not good looking, they're not charming if this is a man. They definitely believe in themselves even though they're not like that. But they, they have this is coming from something from their past. They even got bullied, I'm, now I'm hearing. This could be somebody who got bullied from the people in the past that they're not attractive, they're not charming because of their creativity, maybe because of their confidence, because of their beauty. Because this is, Leo, we know that it's a stand out in the crowd and also center of attention. So people maybe just bullied them in the past. I'm feeling this person is going to be very active and very, um, like a very creative child, maybe. They're very creative, but it's look like they get jealousy of that. This person could have enemies in their workplace with a sixth house. Or whatever the work they do, people have enemies, okay? They get jealousy from that. But with the Venus presence here, so definitely they do something with the luxury, with the beauty, with the cosmetics, makeup, fashion, industry, entertainment, luxury, lifestyle. And the Venus, they work very hard. With the Capricorn, they work very hard for it. This is like they're destined to have it, but slow and steady. It's like this is their karma. They're destined to have it. And the people cannot snatch from them. And we also have a house three. So something about communication. This person could even have a good voice with a Leo. I'm, I'm picking a very hot voice, like sexual voice. Could be a singer. For some of you, this person is a singer or could be performer, artist, you know, or, or somebody who is very like a childlike person, you know, very, um, you know, like the child who is like all of, is like enjoying and having fun and you got bullied by that. They have a childhood relations. Maybe this person's family is very toxic or relatives. Really impact on this person's mind come up from the childhood, early childhood bringing the rational mind and communication. I think they're really very open-minded. They communicate very well. They could even speak different language or more than one language I'm picking up. But this is a Leo. Like, come on, the king, the lion, majestic. I think they're going to be very attractive and charming person. Um, you will meet them definitely through communication, through expression, maybe on social media, internet, through friends. This person could be living, 
you know in your area or place so maybe a little bit like could be from your same community but you will meet them maybe online internet could be even collaboration happening between you and this person for some of you our communication will happen something to do with the work obviously i told you like something related with the work or business you can even meet them on some type of a party like social parties or events anything anything that you're attending and you will see this person there with a the south node here this is somebody who's definitely either you will um when you will meet them you both are going to talk about your past and you will release the past or heal the past or they're gonna release their past they're definitely gonna talk to you about their past there's something about it they're gonna chat about it this person is going to be very chatty chatty and talkative but somehow they're gonna be changed and transformed and they come become very like a slow slow talker and mover i'm picking up okay let's see anything else that you need to know we have a april and we have a may so yeah spring season is very important here could be aries and taurus season yeah again taurus spring and i'm also it's giving me the vibe of also like a cherry blossom could be important here at the flowers but cherry blossom you will maybe travel to see them or they travel a lot or they will travel to come to you and see you either it's in the country or out of country i don't know let's see more we have a pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you yeah look at that calling your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualization help bring you together now for some of you you don't know them yet or when you will meet them obviously um, you will see the red flags in this person you will know it you can't ignore it but we uh, remember that we are, we are not perfect okay we are all not perfect this is somebody who's going to be your soulmate definitely friend zone okay a lack of passion in this companionship okay now some of you either you will friend zone them or they will friend zone you in the beginning or you will feel like they're ignoring you but it's not the case they're ignoring you because they need to heal i say 11 11 yeah you can they're ignoring you because they're not healed properly or there's still something that they need to release they know that so it's like they're protecting you yeah, this person could be used to be in a friend zone in their relationships in the past or they're going to friend zone you because they're going to get to know you, by the way. They're going to take it very slow. It's, it's like don't take it personally because they're going to they're going to take their time. Divine timing, yeah. Um, a serious serendipitous event happened. I think you will meet them through friends. Maybe your relatives or blood relationships. Some of you it could be neighbor. They will shift in your place. Or you will shift in near to this person place i'm hearing neighbor neighbor country neighbor city we also have a physical connection the sacred union of bodies to becoming one yeah this is going to be very very beautiful connection physical connection it's going to be very romantic very romantic but it's going to be uh, very stable love traditional long-lasting love your venus could be also conjunct with this person saturn so it's going to be long-lasting connection here long-lasting long-lasting but there's a divine timing here in order to meet them or getting to know them they're going to take their time or your relationship is going to develop with a slow timing and movement or maybe some of you you don't met them yet because your, your marriage is going to be with the person before you will you know like kiss all the frogs and then meet the, your right person your prince This person could have blonde hair or could be tan skin or darker skin and also black hair. Um, I, th I think they will be taller than you. They could have a muscular body if this is a man. And even if this is a woman, she could be a pale and white woman or blonde. Could be Asian woman for some of you. They will be Asian. Now let's see how you will know that this is your person. He or she is the one. How you will know that because obviously there's something that they're going to do or say. How you will know that just as <laughs> okay libra divine timing number 11 again it's a union it's a spiritual connection it's something meant to happen with the timing soul contract here also it's like something written for you you're just patiently waiting for them uh, and also Peter wants yeah so some of you um, if you will know them so you will definitely patiently wait for them to communicate with you to express or to propose you because it's going to be very slow so you're going to think in the beginning they're putting in a friend zone but it's not a friend zone energy here yeah there will be an age gap queen of pentacles here between you and this person so there could be an age gap here or there's something about 
Yeah, the birds again. You will keep hearing the birds. They're going to talk about you. They're going to talk to you. They're going to communicate with you. The, the message will come on the right time. The confession will come. And also, the proposal will come on the right time. So if this person did something wrong, or they're going to apologize and they will come to you and fix things with you. And with the Page of Wands, it's a good news for you because finally things are going to move forward for you. This is also somebody that you used to talk, you used to communicate, or you will chat a lot. You will also talk about this person um, to your friends or people around you. This is also somebody that you're going to be, could be involved like triple four. There will be a gossip about this person. That's how you will know. You definitely hear something about this person to friends or people or gossips about this person because I'm seeing there will be a gossips and chit chat about this person a lot. And you will keep hearing it, like pe what people are talking, what people are saying about this person. That's how you will know. This person could be related with the government, okay, law or something. How you will know that this is them? Because they're going to be very fair with you, honest with you. They're also going to talk to you about everything. They're not going to hide anything from you. That's how you will know that this is the one. But in the beginning, you're going to feel like they're not into you or they're not showing their interest in you. No, they're going to take their time. Because someone needs to release the past first, either you or them. It's going to take time to talk about and to come on the same page, to balance, to balance things out, equal give and take. Now, some of you used to talk to them are... Could be it's a friendship. It's going to develop into friendship or communication or a little bit chit chat quite often when you see them, but not that much deep or romantic. I also believe this is somebody that you never dated, but after that you will date. This could be when something like sad and deputed, unexpected. You are not even thinking that you will ever date this person or get married to this person. This is that type of a person here. Or maybe they thought that they're never going to be, you know, getting married or being in a relationship with someone like you. So that's why the blockage will be there. But something also need to heal in this connection, okay? So that's how you will know. Let's see more anything else that you need to know and then I will move towards another pile. Okay, let's see. Yeah, oh my God, something about, yeah, law, justice, balance, scale. Yeah, it could be. This is karma, destiny. It's also about, I think, government. This person could be the part of government. Yeah, Libra. This person has a Libra placements in Taurus. Yeah, Venus is very strong here. Could be something to do with the sword here. Truth coming out. Something is going to reveal to you. They're going to be honest with you. They will let you know. I'm picking up New York. Crazy. Yeah, crazy stuff is coming. Crazy truth is coming out. Crazy stuff is going to happen. You're going to see that this person is crazy or this your journey to meet them or your relationship is going to be very crazy. Crazy. Uh, they could even born into a 95 or 59 uh, or maybe you are like that. 25, 29. Maybe you will get married. 9, 9, 7, triple 5 again. V is here, Y is here. I'm picking up New York. Uh, and number four. Could be 94, 92. We also have the heart here, yeah. And it's going to take time. This person is going to take their time to open their heart. This is going to be very angel blessing and beautiful connection here. This connection is divinely sent. With the angel, it's, it's also going to be very protective. This person is also going to be very protective of you. C, C, V, V, C, I don't know. Yeah, aeroplane, it's definitely long distance. It's going to take their time to get to know you, especially if it's a long distance. You meet them maybe on some type of a traveling, through traveling or business. Something with the airplane. Yeah, it's going to take time. It is going to take time. The truth will come out or something is going to reveal to you or the crazy stuff is going to happen. Maybe some of you, when you are joining some type of a, let's say a contract, a deal, signing a business partnership or uh, signing some type of a, or could be even attending some type of a, joining a, some type of an institute. Maybe you're a lawyer or this person is a lawyer. Or it could be something to do with the government and law. Okay, that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number four. Finally, the last one, the people who choose the red jasper. Heart hair and your zodiac sign could be Scorpio, Sagittarius and Capricorn. Does not have to be and you choose this tattoos tarot deck. Okay, let's see uh, who will be your future spouse, how you will know that. I saw triple one, so you will keep seeing triple one when you will meet this person. Or you will, it's going to be a new beginning for you. You're going to manifest this person. 
you will see the signs a lot meeting this person before now let's see let me know who is going to be your future spouse and then i'm gonna use some oracle card your future spouse group number four oh anything else a lot of fours here so could be they will be in their 40s or you will be in your 40s. I saw 936, 369. That could be an angel number. Interesting. The sun. I'm going to take it. This is your soulmate. The sun, knight of cups. This is your soulmate. The sun and knight of cups. Okay, knight and shining armor. This is going to be a prince charming. That's how you're going to see them. Or princess. Prince charming or princess. The devil. Oh, they're going to be very attractive. They're going to be very, very attractive and charming. Okay. I can't show you the but we have a judgment now some of you this is definitely the sun and judgment it's definitely your soulmate I'm going to show you it's a judgment here so something that it's a rebirth I think you know them from past life with the sun it's like a twin souls you both are going to be twin souls some of you you're going to even look same alike them we have a four of coins four of four of cups and then we have a six of coins okay this person is definitely going to hold back in the beginning they will think that you will not you're not interested in them they will have a fear of rejection but they will keep dreaming about you can you see that to send you message to talk to you they even going to be very expressive but with the four of cups somehow they're going to feel very rejected left out in the cold disappointed or discontent they're going to think with the four of coins i, I don't think so they're going to come directly to you and will let you know that i'm into you i like you um i want to be with you you know like something like that so this is somebody who's very reserved okay um they're also very romantic, very, very romantic person with the Knight of Cups. With the Sun and Judgment, this is somebody who's going to be very young by their soul. They have an inner child alive, okay? When you will meet this person, this is definitely exactly your son is going to be... Maybe There's a Sun and Pluto here. So maybe this person is going to be transforming on a soul level. This person gonna make you so happy. It's like two child are making, you know, like happy together, comfortable with each other. So that's how your connection is going to be. Now, I'm also picking up, this could be somebody that you're going to have a kids with. Or you will talk about kids and children. Or maybe you already have a children, I don't know. And this could be your next marriage, I don't know. But with the six of coins here, look at this. Finally, the exchange of message and letter is going to be sent. It's like, finally, this person is going to make a move. Finally, the exchange of like communication message is going to happen and they're going to propose you or they're going to express their love to you. With the sun is the expression. This person with the, with the judgment here, they're going to keep feeling in their heart and soul like you are the one. And finally, they're going to send you a message. So I saw triple two, triple one. Okay, let's see more about this person. Who is this person? Because I'm also want to know that. Let's know more about this person. Yeah, they could be into 40s or... Some of you are, you will be in your 60s and 40s. There will be an age gap here. But either they look younger or they will be younger than you. Let's see who is this person. The ocean. Oh, wow. This person is very deep. X or V could be important here. They live near the ocean. Water. This person is deep like an ocean. There's something about this person's eyes is going to be very ocean, like a blue or aqua blue or something like definitely very beautiful eyes they have a, like a very beautiful oceanic eyes whatever the color is doesn't matter they have a very beautiful eyes guys and you you can see the emotions in this person's eyes this person's eyes are very deep and they're very emotionally deep person but they don't show it with the four of cups and four of pentacles <laughs> we have a mystery box this is a surprise Okay, there is so many meanings here about this mystery box here. This is talking about unanswered questions here. No clarity, confusion, mystery, and the unknown. Okay, now some of you, it's interesting. Your future spouse is a mystery for you because you never met them. You don't know them yet when you're watching this video. Or you will see this person everywhere. Like you're getting the signs with the judgment and the sun card. Like everything is going to remind you of this person or everything is going to tell you universe and all the ocean and in the world, in the earth, everything is going to, you know, point out that this is your person or you, they are, when they're going to meet you, everything is going to point 
towards you. So you both have a soul connection or contract here with the judgment and the sun card. And this is a mystery going to be for this person. And they're going to be like, why they feel very deep for you? Why they feel so deep? So this is somebody who is going to have an unanswered question. Or maybe you have a lot of questions that they never answered. But this is also somebody who is going to be a mystery for you. Because they, I told you, they don't open up. They don't open up. When they're going to open up, it's going to be a surprise for you. But there's something about this person's eyes. Um, they show the one side of themselves. Like their other side of the story or who they truly are is like totally different. You know, like an ocean, you just see the ocean, above, you know, like on the surface, like you can see that, but you don't know how deep it is. So that's how it's mystery is about this person. That's how you will know. Okay. Let's see more. How and when you will meet this person or anything that you need to know about this connection. We have the Saturn. Here you go. Yeah. We have a feel restricted experience. Struggle, learn, hard work, and patience. Saturn, they could be older than you. I told you, or they will look younger. Or one of you is going to be older. Yeah, there will be an age gap here. But this person's inner child is alive. They either look young. Doesn't matter whatever their age is. They have a baby face, a child face. You're also going to mirror them. Somehow your face is going to be very, very uh, attracted to them. Or they're going to be very attracted to you. Now we have the Saturn. Uh, it's a Capricorn. Oh, we have a Capricorn. Ambitious realism and met methodical steps. So they could have a Saturn in their Capricorn. Again, this is somebody who's going to be very wise, very experienced, very, very experienced, very older, wise, a, a very old soul, let's say. Oh, they, were, they went through a lot with the Saturn and Capricorn. Oh, this is a karma. This is all about karma and destiny. You also have a soul contract with this person. This is somebody who's written for you or meant to be. Saturn here. This is in your karma. This is in your written. But it's good, okay? We also have the house 12. Mm. We have a spirituality, transcendence, karma. Something, but this connection is going to be karmic. Karmic soulmate, okay? Don't be like, oh my God, I, wanna, I don't want to be with this person. No, you will. You will choose this person. You, now listen. Listen to me again if you did not listen. You will choose this person. No matter how much you don't understand them, uh, no matter how many unanswered questions you have, you have a mystery, you will be like, oh, I, I just want to open that box. I want to be with, I, I will, I want to there. I want to be, I want this person. It's karmic. It's a soul contract, soul tie. With the 12th house, this is somebody from your past life. If you believe in that. Now listen, we have a sacrif uh, sacrificial service and healing. Yeah, so you have uh, past life karma. Maybe in the past life, you have something unfinished business that you're going to finish in this lifetime. And when you will meet this person, okay, when you will meet this person, you will know that exactly like your soul, your intuition, your heart, everything is going to tell you this is your person. The connection is going to be very, very deep. Now listen, this is also somebody who's not going to show their feelings on the surface level, but their feelings are very deep, run very deep. They have a very, very deep emotions and feelings for you, but they're not going to show it. You will always questioning that why they think about you, what, what they think about you, what they feel about you. You will always question that. But what I can tell you, you will see in this person's eyes. The way they're going to look at you, the way they're going to feel for you. I think this person has a block with a Saturn to express themselves. And that's why they're going to be very expressive with the Knight of Cups is with the creativity. Or they're going to show you with the letters. This is somebody whose love language could be writing something to you, affirmations, words of affirmations. They're going to write the letters to you. Or keep texting you something. But when they will be in front of you, they will be silent. They will be quiet. And, when, and they will just look at you. That's how you will know. But with you, they're also going to be very happy. Very like uh, acting like a child. Or very like, a, it's, a, it's also like a rebirth of a child. Or this is going to be rebirth of their younger self. They're going to enjoy a lot with you. You both are going to, I think, uh, alive again. You will be very, very happy with each other. You both are going to be very discon discontent or dissatisfied in, in love life. But you never give up on love because you really wanted to meet the love of your life. You believe that your soulmate is there and this person also believe that. This person has a lot of love and deep love to give. Not to you, but to everybody. With a Saturn, this person is going to be a good father one day for the kids or they already a father. Now some of you, they could be already have a kids. But if it's not, because I'm seeing they're younger than you, they're gonna be a good father one day. 
this person's true example is like there this person's role model is going to be the father their own father maybe they could be carrying the business of the father or they're going to make their father very proud this is also somebody who's going to make a generational money they work very hard by the way they're going to work very very hard they could be into a business and this business is going to be very long term or now listen this person could live near the ocean or water or this is somebody that you're going to meet them first time or you will get married to them maybe near, near the ocean your marriage is going to be near the ocean i'm picking up with the 12th house also is talk about foreign land yeah so this is somebody okay you will move into a foreign or you will meet this person in a foreign land you will maybe get married to this person in foreign land also that is a possibility you both are going to decide that 12th house is definitely somebody who live far away from you it's a definitely you're like a foreign land so this person could be totally different from you but you will choose you will choose this person and and your person um they're gonna fall head over heels for you they will love you so much but they will have a fear of rejection or they're gonna feel four of pentacles is like they're gonna hold back because of i told you like a lot of things because they have an unanswered question they're gonna be not understanding why this is all happening they are also going to be awakened because i think this is somebody is very very practical rooted in reality but you are somebody has a pisces placements or 12th house placements so you definitely going to trigger this emotion in this person pisces and capricorn couple could be some of you or we also have a scorpio here so could be yeah i'm picking up like that and sagittarius is there sagittarius is also like there so could be 12th house definitely so somebody who is coming from a different different uh, place different background different culture tradition but you're going to mix up well with this person because it's like you're not going to be you know when you meet somebody and you're gonna you don't feel like you're foreign you're different you just feel like oh we're just clicking together because this is something like a past life soulmates or your your past life husband or wife coming back to you there will be exchange of messages i'm also picking up the six of coins this person want to meet you you may be even going to work with this person or you will meet them in the workplace you will go and meet this person workplace this person is like a person that who work very hard but when they're playing when they're having fun they're going to have a lot of fun so they have a balanced side they're very balanced but there's something about they're not yeah they're going to be very romantic january and september so could be virgo or capricorn and we have a winter and autumn season could be important here that's very important and significant uh months maybe or you will marry them or meet them okay let's see more let your friends help you ask for and accept support from other i think universe is going to keep guiding you that this is your person there's also friendship involved here maybe other you're going to be friends first so get to know each other or also i'm picking up here with a saturn here this relationship is also going to move very slow maybe they're going to take friends help because they don't know how to express it let go of control issues yeah here you go allow this situation to unfold naturally so something is going to be obviously whoever have a capricorn placement they're going to try to control the other person or try to control the situation try to control their emotions but it's something that you need to surrender that's a judgment is here the sun listen to your heart listen to your soul what are you doing the universe is going to tell you like what are you doing kid you wanted a soulmate you wanted a lover now you if this person is in front of you then why are you because the reality is going to hit you both of you is like yeah some of you you're going to think like no it's not possible or they're going to think like that yeah one of you could be a single parent that could be a issue here or there will be a control issues here like something to control with the tradition control with the family friends because we have these things thinking about a lot of things with the 12th house here this person and with the saturn here they may be coming out of a depression or anxiety stress they may be have had a phase in their life that they went through it they turn into cold i'm picking up here but there's something they're going to melt time apart here you go a time for separation yeah so there will be a separation period here or maybe you live in the different places and this is a uniform so this person could be into some type of a air force or some type of a military army uniform live far away from you so this person could go foreign maybe they just travel a lot foreign or maybe the duty is somewhere else yeah they may be into air force or maybe navy or something something to do with the water water force emergency or something i don't know but there's something like 
there will be a separation i think in the beginning it will be create a lot of issues here between you and this person fearless love here you go a courageous uh, leap into the unknown leap into the unknown yeah you both are going to be very bold and courageous and this is going to be a fearless love between you and this person we have a perfect match you complete each other in the most harmonious way yeah so even though you both are different but you complete each other like a missing piece of the puzzle interesting story here okay now let's see how you will know that this is your person this is the one they're going to be very attractive this person will have a very beautiful smile I'm also hearing that you bring you you put the smile on my face you bring the smile on my face like they're literally gonna tell you are they gonna very like smiley around you this person is also going to open up to you like a mystery box like they're not gonna open up like oh this is me no like you will keep wondering questioning like who they are truly because it's going to be a surprise for you Every time you will, you know, get to know about something about this person, it's going to be a surprise for you. And others of you, you don't know them yet. So that's why it's a surprise. It's a mystery. Deep like ocean, I'm picking up. There's a lot of songs coming. So something about songs, music. This person has a baby face or they will be very, very attractive. This could be even somebody who has a twin. Like, um, they could have a twin kids or... They have, they're like a twin siblings or you will look like a twin. This is like a twin souls. This could be a twin soul or something. Because you both are going to be the, I told you, like same person but coming from a different place. You're going to see your reflection in them. Now let's see how you will know that this is your person. King of Cups. You see them as your lover. You're going to fall in love with this person. You will keep developing feelings for this person. This person could have a tattoos. Because they're going to be exactly the same as you want. The ideal person. The emperor. And justice. Two major arcana. Libra and Aries. This is the Aries and Libra polar opposite. They could be even the person of uh, the government. Official. Military. Look at the boss. Somebody who is owning something. Yeah, this is somebody. Now, some of you, this is going to be your boss. Like somebody who's going to be a boss. But it's like, I told you, remember? Like you're going to work under this person or you're going to work with this person? Are they going to call you in the foreign? Like come and th this is like opportunity. Like you're going to work with this person. But they're not. It's like when they're your boss and their boss. But when in the house, they're your lover like puppy love or something, very romantic. They're going to show you the different side of them. How you will know that in front of the world, this person is a boss, leader, somebody who is very like a strong person, somebody who is a mystery for many people around them. This is somebody who is very private, very secretive, that nobody knows about them, who they truly are. This is also somebody who is not very accessible easily. Um, giving me the like, special VIP type of a person or they have a, definitely have a high position with the emperor and justice. They could be even a politician or public figure, but something to do with the government, law, lawyer, judge, like on a higher position. And how you will know that is the king of cups because they, they are your lover. They're very, very, totally a different person with you, like deep ocean and love and romance with you. They're going to be older than you. You like it or not. They're going to be older. And with the emperor here, this is a daddy vibe and we have the son. This is somebody who's going to be a daddy, already a father. Or going to be the father of your kids. I think they will be already a father, single parent maybe. Or maybe you will, be, you will have a kids. But I think you will have a kids with this person. And with this king of cups energy here, this is going to be a very romantic person. I told you, like, universe, keep guiding you about this person. And if they will keep coming into your dreams and you'll be like, why I'm seeing this person? Like, you will have no clarity because there's a reason here. And you will choose this person. Remember, with the justice, there's a soul contract. There's also something that's remind you of this person is going to be your father or, or going to remind you of uh, your tradition 
maybe you coming from a same tradition, uh, same maybe culture or same religion, or something about father. You will feel very protected. It's a power. This is a very powerful person with the emperor and justice is a power. This is a somebody who has a power, authority. That's how you will know. They have a power to do anything, but they're not going to do it with the king of cups. They're very balanced. They're very fair. They're very honest. And they, they speak the truth. This is a daddy vibe, to be honest. They could be a Christian or... Wow, this is somebody who's going to be very romantic. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else that you need to know? Oh, this, your love story is going to be very crazy, I think. But it's going to be very magical, unicorn. Yeah, you're not going to believe that. Nobody's going to believe that, by the way. You, even you're not going to believe that, that you're getting married to this person. There's something about stick here. This is a bond. A lot of passion, a lot of desire, taking action. Yeah, qu question again, mystery box. There's a lot of question here. You will also not think, of, you will also, I think, question that why you choose this person or why they want to be with you. Someone like them, why they want to be with you. That will, I think that's how it's going to be a mystery for you. Are you going to keep questioning them? They're also going to keep questioning you. I think they're going to ask you a lot of questions. That's how you will know. Or you will ask them a lot of questions. This is your divine masculine with, a, with this uh, seahorse here. Yeah, they have a baby face. They will love your face or their face is very, very attractive. Very attractive. Like a childlike face. We have a T. Could be. Um, we also have the aeroplane. Yeah, long distance. Or this person travel a lot. Yeah, you're going to get married into a different country or place. You're going to move after marriage too in a different country. Number two could be important. Five or three. 23, 32, 35 could be important here. Maybe you will be in this age when you will get married. Yeah, that's your reading. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see you later. Bye. God bless you all.